you very much for joining me. It's been so busy lately. I've been wanting to do this video for a while. It's about backflow valves, also known as backwater valve or sewer backup valves. With all the recent flooding, a lot of people have been having sewage either back up in their basements or coming up in their bathroom toilets and tubs. And this is a critical device to prevent sewage or stormwater from flowing back into your home during flooding. This has become increasingly relevant due to recent heavy rainfall and flooding events. So why use a backflow valve? Prevent sewage backup. Heavy rainfall or flooding can overwhelm a municipal sewer system causing sewage to reverse into homes through drains such as toilets, sinks, or basement floor drains. A back floor valve ensures water flows only one way, out of your home, preventing contaminated water from entering. Recent flooding as seen in news articles, social media, um, and other posts about sewer backups during heavy rain highlights the risk of costly damage to basements and homes. Backflow valves mitigate this by blocking reverse flow. Sewage backup poses a health hazard due to bacteria and contamination. And backflow valves reduce this risk by keeping sewage out. If your area has experienced heavy rain or combined sewer storm drain overflows, as noted in some communities with flooding issues, a backflow valve is essential. Also think of power outages. Uh, sewage systems often need electricity for the lift pumps to pump the sewage up. You know, all ground is not equally level. And if there is a power outage for any length of time, yeah, you may have sewage backing up into your home because of the sewer company's lift pumps no longer working. Homes with basements or fixtures below street level are at higher risk of sewage backup during floods. Even aging or blocked sewer systems from tree root intrusions or overwhelmed city mains during storms increase the need for a backflow valve. There are many types of backflow valves, flap or check valves, these are simple passive devices that allow uh, water to flow out, but close to block the water from coming back in, ideal for residential uses. Another one is called a gate valve, manually operated, offering a strong seal, but requiring action during flood warnings. I really wouldn't want that. I would, would, would want something that would automatically work on its own especially if you had to evacuate or if you're out of town or at work. Another one is called a dual backflow valve, combine check and gate valves for enhanced protection. They are recommended for repeated flooding issues. Installation considerations installed on the main sewer line, preferably outside of the home or near the basement floor drain for easy access and maintenance. Or you could get a professional installation. A licensed plumber um, would be one to install the valve to ensure compliance with local code, codes and proper functionality. Yeah, permits might be required. If you're lucky enough to have a floor drain for clean out for your sewage system, yeah, that would save you a lot of money. But retrofitting an already existing apartment or home could cost anywhere from $2,000 to $5,000, while new installation is around $500. Some municipalities offer subsidies for installation due to recent floodings. Back floor valves won't help if flooding is due to water seeping through walls or floors, as this isn't related to sewer backup. So what kind of maintenance would you need to do? Regular checks are needed to ensure the valve isn't blocked by debris, which could prevent it from closing properly during a flood. They always say a pound of prevention 
is a lot better than, yeah, a cure. There has been a lot of increased awareness of sewer backups due to heavy rainfall overwhelming combined sewer storm drain systems. For example, many people have noted that entire neighborhoods flooding due to such issues. And you might check with your municipality. There are many that are now offering reimbursement for installing backflow prevention devices to address this growing problem. You may or may not have had recent flooding in your area. Consult a plumber to check your sewer lines and determine if a backflow valve is needed. You can also look into municipal subsidies or grants for valve installation, especially in a flood prone area. Don't wait for a flood or another flood. Installing a backflow valve can save thousands of dollars in damage. Yeah, and think about the work to do the cleanup, the disinfecting, the sterilizing afterwards, and the possibility of getting sick from the bacteria. Thank you very much for watching. You might consider this as a proactive uh, type of thing that you can do to yeah, save you a lot of money. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.